For all you networkers out there, here's a counterintuitive approach to networking that I think will give you tremendous results, some results that you never anticipated. Let's start with the, uh, the concept of networking. There's a, a huge push for networkers to go out, to meet people, to gain as many cards as they have, uh, even to ask a lot of questions. I mean, that's a, a huge component of networking. If you ask questions, get their card, connect with them a little bit, you can build the business even further, what, or your organization or your career, whatever you're trying to build. Let me share with you a slightly different twist to that same concept that I believe will give you huge returns. It starts by, with a question. If you had the option of choosing one networker over another and you are an executive of an organization, which phone call would you take? First phone call comes in from a person that you met at an event. You had some time with them, they ask you a lot of questions, they seem very interested in you. Phone call comes in and you've got to decide. The next situation, situation B as we'll call it, you go to this exact same event, you get this phone call afterwards. The difference is in this situation, the person while networking didn't just ask you questions, but ask you questions that made you think beyond what you normally think, but even more so, offered you some value. Maybe they talked about some travel experiences, some business experience, something where you said, hmm, that sounds interesting, I'd like to get to know them a little bit more. Phone call comes in, your receptionist, your secretary, your assistant, someone you work with says, I've got such and such on the phone, option A or option B. Which one would you take? I've asked executives around the world that same question and they all answer the same one. Obviously, B, I had some type of connection. There was more than just a networking experience. Well, that's a huge shift. I've found that over the course of my career that if I followed the rules of professional networkers, going to events, collecting cards, I end up with a ton of cards. Actually, on Facebook uh, two days ago, a friend of mine had a picture of over 5,000 cards going back to 2002, and he wanted to know what to do with it. Everybody wrote these short little burbs, you know, dig through them, seeing if there was contacts. I said, throw them out. If you haven't called them since 2002 and your business is networking or marketing, then you're not a great marketer. Well, in my case, what I've done is I've gone out and instead of going for quantity, I often do research before I go to an event, find out about individuals, maybe they've gone to the same university that I have, maybe they are the same age as I have, and that has created a connection where the two of us, when we meet, can, can form some type of bond. And I'll give you a perfect example. I was asked to go to an event recently, a gala, a gala, in, uh, for The Great Gatsby. Put on an outfit, did all the things, and I actually am not the most gregarious person in an environment. If you send me to a bar at night, I'm not gonna meet a lot of people. I'm very quiet. Well, I went to this event, I was just walking around eating, and I ran to this guy I had seen before, and we started talking, and he said his, he's from a, a large corp, a relocation firm, and he happened to be the same age, we had some dialogue and the, what I said to him made him think and what he said to me made me think. So when I followed up with him, he said, I would love to sit down and talk with you. And since then, we've generated and moved forward towards uh, you know, conducting business. My case to you is, let's do some changes. Here's a few things you can do. First of all, change your habits. Don't go to an event to network. It's a, it sounds low level. Executives of large firms are not really networking, they're connecting, and I think that's a better way to look at it. Number two, become more worldly in different topics, because if you're having one type of conversation only about product or services, you'll get some type of interaction, and granted, that might be great. You might be in the hotel your business or in the, in the construction business, you might be in a rock quarry business, and you could really connect with somebody. But once that's done, what else is there left? So be more worldly, travel, see, talk, learn. Uh, give powerful advice. Hold off giving the menial advice, the little tiny connections, until you can find an opportunity when you're talking with somebody to ask a question or to offer them a model or a tool. Make sure you follow up. Uh, that's an important part. And I, I would even jump to the earlier part, the, the make sure what you're doing is pre-targeted. If you spend the time pre-targeting, you'll find opportunities that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. So. Uh, I consider my, a hunt, myself a hunter, not a farmer. I see farmers going out, grabbing cards and planting a few seeds here and there. But a real good farmer doesn't measure what he plants. He measures what he harvests. And what I'm looking for is to bring in what's necessary. And I call myself a hunter. I'm out there when I'm networking, hunting for the prey that I want to bring home something that's going to do me and my organization the value that it's supposed to do. 
Hopefully this counterintuitive approach to networking will change the way in which you see how to build and grow for your future.